been searching Follow every step, every road, every single trace Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so it's about time that we make a skateboard video, electric skateboard. So I haven't updated in a while, and one of the reasons why is because I'm waiting. I was waiting for a package from far, far away, which is finally here. And um, even though I could have been planning things, I've been busy with other stuff. So I'm sorry for not having enough skateboard videos on this channel, but I will try to do better. In any case, um, I've been waiting for this box probably a good three weeks now, and it's finally here. And it is the controllers for the four-wheel drive system. Here's a remote, same kind as I already have. chose to ship it the economical way I think it was e-packet but if you use the DHL you would get it much faster than I did so but in any case so it's finally here and uh, looks like they put up put it together here so the only difference I can really tell is that these black wires here that go from this controller to this controller but other than that they look the same as this one does so I'm wondering kind of if I could have just bought, since I had one already, if I could have just bought another one and then just soldered these wires myself from this controller, which is right there. I could have soldered right there to the other controller if that would have gave me, you know, this setup right here. So I might be selling this controller. Anyways, if any of you guys are interested in this thing, let me know. I'll definitely discount it a little bit. All right, so before I get all excited and try to sell my controller there, let's see if these can, if this set here works. Anyways, let me show you guys here that I've showed you last time that I broke this cover, so that's kind of unfortunate. But in any case, I'll still have to redo all this. Here's my battery and what it looks like after all that usage. So my BMSs are in here. So you can tell that some sand got in there because it's a little bit dirty, but it's held up pretty well overall, I would say. Alright guys, so first things first, let's see if these will power up. Alright, let's hit the power button and see what happens. Now I can see there's more LEDs blinking on this one. So two on this one, but three on this one. There's the main one here. In any case, looks like they did power on. So let's go ahead and connect the, the drive systems. All right guys, so this is it. I got everything connected. So this controller is connected to this set. And this controller is connected to this set. Anyways, everything is hooked up and ready to roll. So let's go ahead and power it on. Oh, look at that. It works. Wow. Okay, here's an interesting thing. This this one is spinning this way, and this one is spinning this way, even though they're backwards, because this one's facing this way, and that one's facing that way. How about that? I wonder if they went ahead and thought that through when they made these things. Anyways, guys, it looks good. Um, I can't give it too much power because I'm just running off of these really thin wires, but I guess I could try to go a little bit faster here. Yeah. Okay, so alarm is working. Yeah, there's just not enough power going here setting up the alarm. But yeah, it's awesome. Everything's working. Look at that. The remote's working too. So finally, we have a four wheel drive system that works. So now we really, what we gotta do is we gotta 
figure out where all this stuff is going to go and how it's going to go because there's a bunch of it. Not only am I going to need new cases to put these guys in, I'm going to still need to do my whole battery setup which is double the battery because these batteries are just not, there's no way in the world they're going to handle both of these drive systems. There's going to be a crazy voltage dip. So I've got to double up on batteries. Unfortunately today I'm not going to do anything major with the setup. I just wanted to make a quick update that I got the controllers and thank goodness they are working. Everything seems fine. So I am probably going to be selling this. So if anybody's interested, let me know. Um, or actually I might just uh, make an eBay listing for this guy. Yeah, so I guess the next project would be to be working on these batteries. So uh, stay tuned for that video because I'm going to combining two sets of batteries together into one. So and I still have to figure out my casing idea. Yeah, but I'm very happy that everything worked out and uh, this thing is working. Alright, so I'm going to turn this off. Uh, I think the biggest issue at this point right now is not even building the new battery for me, but figuring out the case for all this. Unfortunately, no matter how I'm looking at it, I think I'm going to have to go with the long case that goes all the way through. I wanted to keep that slim look. But I think in this situation, I don't think I can do that with this four-wheel drive system. There's just too many components and the batteries are going to be too big. So I think instead of trying to thick, thicken things up, making them thick, I think I'm just going to keep it thin, like this thin, but have it all the way through, which will be okay. It'll still have a thin profile. I guess today what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this new uh, drive in here on the front. So I'm going to take that out. Plus it'll be a lot easier because of these wirings that have to go through here. Power and uh, transmission lines. So. Alright guys, so this is it. That looks insane. I mean these things are pretty beefy looking up front. So it is a little bit tall up here. And because of the uh, this thing, it's kind of moving it forward. It looks awesome, so it'll give me a little more room right here anyways to work with it. Alright guys, so I just wanted to finish up on the note of all the things that I have here. So I do have all the parts to complete the build. I just need to do it now. The only thing I'm missing is the casing or the covering for all this stuff. Which will probably be a little bit tough for me to figure out. So yeah, we got the other batteries here that are going to combine with those. We got the new BMS, which will be for all the batteries. And uh, obviously the new controllers here for the all-wheel drive. Still gonna probably use this deck for now. Maybe eventually I'll swap over to a new one, but for now, just for prototyping and building, this is a good deck to use for now. So stay tuned for the next videos of coming up, probably building the battery, and then it'll be putting it all together, most likely, the video after that. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and this update, and uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.